We want to go over our techniques for AFO casting and uh, fabrication course. The uh, heart of this is the casting technique that uh, we do in fiberglass in typically in two parts for an AFO. So we do the foot section first and then get it in position and then do an overlapping mold of the tibial section. One component of this is our adjustable heel height plate. We just have this set up so we can go from a zero heel height to a three quarter inch heel height depending on the shoe selected by the patient. Most shoes that are suitable for wear with an AFO are flat inside and have a, an insole pad and 3 8 inch is a really common heel height in that regard. So to wear a, a shoe with an AFO, you're typically taking out that insole pad and fitting the AFO inside of that to give a little extra depth in the shoe. So we'll set this up for a 3 8 inch heel height. So we have a quarter inch plate and an eighth inch plate. We have a top plate of a more flexible plastic. So that's just set up in place. And we cast in a seated position. The uh, practitioner does her evaluation, sets that up and does the casting. We end up with a really nice flat surface that, that's going to mate with the inside of the shoe and give good ML stability so the bottom of this is not rounded and can contribute to ML instability. The overlapping mold is done. It overlaps that inner cast. And then the practitioner, when they're finished casting, can take a look at this and decide if they want to do a, a bench alignment and change alignment slightly. And then we just glue these two components together and it's ready to go to fabrication. We really worked hard on getting a really accurate casting method because in our patient care facility, practitioners don't fabricate, don't modify the molds. They get the mold, they take a really good evaluation, do a good casting, a really accurate casting in fiberglass, and then our technicians can proceed from there, do the fill and modify of the plaster model, and come up with a really well-fitting device. We basically have several different designs in this course. One is our bivalve design, which is a composite and thermoplastic combination that's just a solid ankle AFO system. It's just a bioelastic material for that inner socket for somebody with uh, issues uh, that require really good ankle immobilization. To be able to get it around the front of the ankle so it's really a solid device, we hinge this on the planner surface of the AFO. So it's very easy for the patient to don this and when it's completed, it doesn't take up very much room in the shoe and uh, is uh, very easy to don and doff and also easy to modify. If there's any modification that has to be done to the fit, it's quite easy to do. Another composite method that we have in this course is our typical hinge design that we use for ankle arthritis mainly. So we have a double adjustable joint that we can control how much dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, and then it's out of composite for really good rotational and ML control which are the two main components to pain with ankle arthritis. And, and also blocking dorsiflexion can really help relieve pain in ankle arthritis. Has a design that with a molded inner boot uh, to get a really good grip on the foot and add maximum comfort. And then it's in a, in a shape design that when this is on the patient's limb, this tapered shape helps de-weight that arthritic ankle and help with pain management as well. Certainly another typical design is just a hinged AFO with a downstop. And as you can see, this is a nice flat surface on the plantar surface. So inside of the shoe, there's no rocking around. They're just much more stable. 
We go into the fabrication of these devices as well as the modification of the mold as well. Uh, in this course, uh, we'll hope you enjoy it.